Hello and welcome to BMAD and Revit tutorials. In today's tutorial, I would like to start a series of tutorials on how I use Revit for creating models and creating projects as an architect. I got a lot of messages. Do I have tutorials on how to use Revit uh, for creating architectural drawings as a system? They, uh, a lot of persons said to me that we can find to a lot of tutorials on how to use tool by tool where uh, in tutorials are explained uh, methods how to use different tools in Revit but there is no complete tutorial uh, on YouTube uh, on how or there is a not uh, there is not a lot of tutorials on how to use Revit as a system from A to Z, from beginning to start, how to create a project. So here I have three simple projects, uh, simple house projects. And uh, I have one request from you. Uh, I need to choose which one you which one uh, to model in this series of tutorials which uh, of these houses you prefer to create uh, in this tutorial. Uh, we will start from the beginning, from creating topography and from positioning the uh, CAD files on the, on the site plan, where we will select the true and project north, then we will create topography surroundings and then we will start a conceptual design in Revit. The difference bet between these projects is only in the roof, uh, if we speak as a method of creating a model in Revit. Uh, here we will have the structure here in these two projects, number one and number three, uh, we will have uh, structural framing and how to model structural framing. For example, in this project number, th number three, we can see that uh, here I already have, sorry, just to go, all right. And here you can see we have structural framing and in these two projects where we have sloped uh, classic roof, uh, we will create all the layers from the roof uh, together with the structural, structural framing that I will show you how to do that. But this is only one of the, of the uh, topics in, in Revit. So when we get to the roof, uh, first before that we need to make everything from the basement to the uh, to, from the foundations to the to walls, uh, families of doors, windows and furniture and other thing. And my aim is to get the project to the uh, very end uh, when we will go to export it to PDF file and prepare it for the authorities to get the pr permission. So uh, one request uh, for you is uh, to help me to choose which one of these projects of these models to use for this series of tutorials. Uh, there is a lot of things I would like to share with you. Uh, this will be some kind of mi um, middle le level where I will explain how I use Revit in these projects. Of course, uh, different projects, different requests uh, required uh, different solutions. But almost everything you need to know with Revit, I will explain in this series. So if there is uh, something you want to, uh, to know, it's easy for you to find it on the YouTube, uh, especially if you try to find how to use some tools in Revit. But as a system, um, uh, my idea is to create a series of tutorials how an architect uses Revit from A to Z 
uh, from conceptual design to the execution project. Of course, uh, you can uh, give your uh, advices. We can make adjustments to the tutorials regarding to your requests. Uh, all right, just one more time. Let's share the... All right. Now, which of these uh, three models we should use for this uh, series of tutorials? You can write in the comments and uh, after we decide which of these models we will use, I will start with the uh, first tutorial on uh, how to create, how to import uh, CAD files, uh, how to uh, create true project node, how to uh, adjust and modify the coordinate system in Revit, and how to create topography. After that, we will start with the with the creating conceptual design and positioning how, uh, how to find the best way to position it on the topography. So here we have one, two, three. Which one you choose? And please don't forget to subscribe and to share my works with your friends and colleagues, especially. Uh, I would like is a small request, uh, request for, from you to share this series of tutorials to more people so they can uh, see uh, one of the solutions uh, and methods how uh, we use Revit uh, as an architect from A to Z. Uh, all right, this is all. And uh, I'm waiting from you the uh, comments, which of these houses we should use for this series of tutorials. This is all. See you in the next tutorial.